to start today's video by showing you some footage of the jog I've been going on about three days a week. Here we are driving down to the beach at Terrigal. Yeah, gotta go easy to start. This is my neighbor. He is a mechanical engineer, so it's been nice to bounce ideas off of him with the impellers I'm trying to learn about. But we'll get back to that after this. Stage of testing, 21A, B, C, and D have all been tested, and these were all designed specifically to use the same amount of power each according to my pump software. Basically, this is more efficient at moving a large volume of water with less pressure. This is less efficient moving a high pressure amount of water, but less volume of it. Think of a, a glider is very, very efficient with these big, long wings that move very low pressure amount of air whereas a jet fighter has short wings, higher wing loading, less efficient to glide, but, you know, dealing with the high speeds. Because so I want all of these to use roughly 107 watts, which they didn't, so I can use the test that I did for this in order to modify these numbers to get what I want, and then I can see if they're all using 107 watts, what is the efficiency of each one through the jets. There's your nine mil nozzle. There's 121 watts, which is a little over, but this is reading seven and a half PSI. Ooh, yeah, getting there. I hope you enjoyed that footage of running at Terrigal Beach. It really is a beautiful way to break up the day sometimes. In a nutshell, over the last couple weeks here, I've bitten off a little bit more than I can chew. Essentially, I decided I was going to buy a 3D printer and figure out how that works. Figure out how a 3D modeling software works. I chose Fusion 360. Turns out it's a bit complicated. And also figure out the basic mechanical engineering principles behind how impellers work how to design those with an impeller software and put all that together with trying to make an interesting YouTube video. And it winds up with just me sitting under, you know, a dark house playing with plastic. And, you know, there's only so much you can do with that. So I'm going to skip 
all of that and we're going to go straight to the impeller that I was able to come up with and it is an improvement over stock. So the in a nutshell of what's going on here, I have a 2000 gallon per hour C-Flow bilge pump. There's an impeller that spins around in here and this is that impeller, a little nylon three blade impeller and it is an open face. The way this works is it goes up inside this and it goes nice and tight against this edge here. Essentially as tight as possible because you have a low pressure zone in the middle where it sucks water in and a high pressure zone on the outside where it's pushing the water out, hopefully of this hole. However, some of this high pressure water likes to recirculate back along that gap to the low pressure area in the middle. And that recirculating here causes friction but isn't actually doing any work. And that is where having a closed faced impeller where the front of all of this is covered can gain you some efficiency. So the numbers on this are for the C-Flow, I tested through a variety of nozzles and I hit a peak pressure of 5.2 PSI. With mine, my peak pressure was 7.5 PSI. That's basically at a dead head. So I get more pressure, yay. Next up is at maximum flow rate. If I just run it through the two meters of hose I have with no restriction, the C flow was getting 86 liters per minute and mine is getting 10% more than that, 94 liters per minute. Uh, at any given time, the C flow never exceeded 113 watts. So I don't just wanna take more power out of this and burn out the motor at 11 millimeters, which was sort of like one of these middle nozzle sizes, that's when the most work happened. And I measured work based on the diameter of that nozzle by the volume going through it. Um, you can determine what mass of water is exiting at what speed, get your kinetic energy, one half MV squared. Anyways, with the C-Flow at 11 millimeter nozzle, that's when it was the most efficient. It was 27.5% efficient, and it was running at 101 watts. So the total energy I got here is 28.98 watts coming out of work usable that would potentially go into a dredge. With this final design, I got 40.5. So an increase of 39.8% more kinetic energy exiting the pump. And to do that, I did use a little more power. I went up to that 113 watts. So I'm not overpowering this at any point. It's just at 11, it's, it's more efficiently designed to use the full power of the pump. Um, and even though I was using a little bit more power, my efficiency increased, again, from 27.5% efficient to 35.6% efficient. And total work done, 28.9, 40.5. So significant improvement. You're not gonna burn out your pump. The only disadvantage I can see to this design is potentially it getting plugged up with pond scum and stuff more easily than this open-faced version. So you would simply solve that by wrapping some window screen around your bilge pump, which is good practice anyways if you're working in a river with like pond scum and stuff. So that'll keep this running clean. Uh, one thing that's interesting is I tried three different designs right here once I got to the dimensions here that were working where I adjusted the meridional profile of the blades, which is essentially the blade being a little closer to the middle, a little further out, opening up, changing the shape a little bit. This remained the same throughout, but what really made a difference is when I added this lip around the edge, that lip, set this in here, that lip protrudes right through here and creates a really good seal. So you don't get that recirculating action and more of that power is just going to good work. So without the lip, I saw an increase of 23% total work, but with the lip, I saw an increase of 39.8%. So we started with a better impeller, added this lip to make it even better, and this is that final impeller design. Now, playing with the 3D printer, I made a 45 degree curved tube. These tubes here are really interesting. This is a metric 58 millimeter thread by two millimeter. And this is an adapter which goes to my flow meter on one side and to my thread on the other. 52 millimeters inside is essentially a two inch tube. So this would represent your two inch dredge. Um, I built this so that I could suck water out of my tub, run it through the flow meter. And when I start playing with Venturi designs um, using this, so I'm already up almost 40% in power output. 
uh, now I have to figure out which Venturi design is the most efficient to get the most out of that. And as I was doing this, I'm looking at this piece and I'm thinking, this could be a dredge nozzle. This is printed out of PLA, but if I were to print this out of say, carbon fiber impregnated nylon, or maybe like just PVC or ASA, something like that, this would be a fairly durable, real world usable nozzle if I had the Venturi built in. And it could just be one pipe over here that you, know, you connect your bilge pump to, and this would have a fitting that you could slip a two inch dredge hose onto. I could have a single jet, I could make a double jet, maybe a ring jet built within here because the 3D printer really allows you to do a lot of stuff. Of course, with my current skill level, it's gonna take a lot of time to design this, but it got me thinking. If I made just a suction nozzle that somehow worked with one of these pumps, I don't know if this is gonna have enough power for a two inch dredge, I'm gonna probably have to upsize the pump, but that's a potential product that I could put on utmostoutdoors.com at some point. So if you have any interest in something like that, you know, shoot me an email and but you know in time I'll work all these kinks out um, in the meantime I'm just gonna move on to the next step which is testing everything if somebody out there is like I want that impeller I have exactly the Seaflow pump this won't work on every pump the other pump I had the the shaft here was one millimeter longer so it would probably work but the clearances might not be perfect so I can only really guarantee it will work on this exact Seaflow model SFBP1-G2000-01. So I don't know how useful this is. I imagine this wouldn't get plugged up with like pond scum as easily as this. So you're gonna wanna put like a window screen around your bilge pump. But I'll throw the, uh, the two charts up comparing the stock Seaflow versus the impeller I've settled on for now. And if for some reason you are interested in this, at some point I can update my website and do all of that. But for now, you just have to send me an email and uh, we'll work on potentially getting you one of these. I'm thinking 25 bucks it has to be worth my time actually um, going to the post office or of course my Australian fulfillment department of my Canadian company, Utmost Outdoors, would be fulfilling this from Australia. And if there's enough interest for the North American market, I can of course get a 3D printer up to one of my friends there and ship straight out of Canada to make things a little bit more efficient, but that's, that's down the road. So for now, um, still just working on this whole project. Uh, I know I really should be getting out and gold panning, take a paddle board out to check out the mouths of some of these creeks and get a gold pan. I do have a, a fairly large prospecting, like proper adventure involving plane tickets and stuff. Probably might see that around July ish. So the channel isn't dead as far as prospecting adventures. It's just, I'm, I'm quite busy behind the scenes along with trying to make YouTube videos and doing all of this. So I'm doing what I can. Appreciate your patience in the meantime. And I hope that sort of the, the latest community of people who are watching all of this electric dredge stuff are gonna get something interesting out of the next phases of this project. Don't know if I'll see you in a week or two weeks. Uh, I'm working as hard as I can behind the scenes to, to get these out and not just bore you to death. So until the next one, cheers everybody and thank you very much for watching.